the divide to get it right. I'm really playing chess. I use my knife, can't fall behind. I got it right. Don't sleep in class, or you won't pass. I use my formula sheet, cause I don't cheat. I use it on my test. I feel it blessed. Rose for a Christ. You gotta come. Remember in class, we don't chew gum. Get off your phone and pay attention. Not to mention, you're your detention. Question number one, classify each of the following according to the degree leading coefficient that it models. So just so we're on the same page, a degree is the number above here. And a, let's say I put this here, a leading coefficient is what's in front, okay? And then we have to match it with all of these. So we talked about how LC is leading coefficient. Okay. I first want to knock out that the easiest odd is x to the first. And that graph that graph looks like a linear. And then the easiest even that we know is x to the second, which is a quadratic, right? That number two is even. So you'll notice that the arrows start up and then end up, okay? So I'm gonna keep referring to the easiest ones that we know. And you guys were supposed to drag and drop, but I'm just gonna go ahead and um, draw that out a picture because that gives me and then I can match it up with my picture and then see if we can drag it over or just write the letter. So the first three here, these in red, these are called end behaviors. It tells us a sentence. And in this sentence, this is the x-axis and this is positive infinity and this is negative infinity. Okay, so let me try to draw these for you. As x goes towards the right, the graph goes down. So there's my green arrow, okay? As x goes towards negative infinity or the left, the graph also goes down. Okay, so my graph is gonna look something like this. That's all we know, right? So I'll just use a, um, so what, what can I know about this one? Well, they're both pointing in the same direction down, so that's an even, so I'm gonna write that. This is a even, and the leading coefficient, um, that the green here, if it is a positive, Remember, positive people smile. But a negative person frowns or has a sad face. See that? So ours is negative. So if I look at here, which one of these for A is even and the coefficient is negative, that would be the one we just did. Okay? Let's do the same thing with B now. As x approaches positive infinity, so it's going towards the right, the graph also goes, f of x goes to positive infinity. And then if x approaches negative infinity, so if you go to the left, the graph's gonna go down. Well, which graph has that? That is, um, So this would be an odd degree, and then the leading coefficient would be uh, positive. Why is it positive? Because it stays it stays like the original. Starts down as I go left, right. Starts down, ends up. And this one stays the same, so that would be positive. So it doesn't flip. It's a, no way, it doesn't flip the arrows. So I need an odd degree with a positive leading coefficient. That would be this one right there. Okay, let's do the next one. 
as x goes towards the right, the f of x, so if I haven't clarified the f of x, this part is the y-axis, okay? So in this problem, it's saying that you're going negative infinity. So if you want to, you can write these there on all of them. Okay, so in green, this is saying that the graph goes this way. And then over here, as x approaches negative infinity, f of x goes towards, so as I go towards the left, it's going up like this, okay? So let's just draw a graph. We don't know what it is. All we can tell is just the end behavior. And so um, the arrows are in opposite directions. So that would be a odd, right? And our leading coefficient, okay, now pay attention, it's not the same direction as this one. This would be a positive odd right there, the easy one. So what I'm gonna do here is this one's gonna be a positive, uh, sorry, a negative. Why is it negative? Because these arrows are switched. So let's look for an odd and negative. Uh, that would be choice here. Okay, D, E, and F now are, um, just write this out. Here in green, these are called higher degree polynomials. Higher degree polynomials. Okay, what does that mean? Um, let's, let's just do uh, D here. Okay, here's my degree. This is an even. Uh, even degree and the leading coefficient here there's no symbol of negative so it's going to be a positive so this is going to look something like um, now to make this super accurate because it's the fourth degree that means it's going to have four um, roots And hopefully you learned last week, these are the, um, this is the idea of the fundamental theorem of algebra. This represents two reals, and this also represents two reals, so two plus two gives us the four. But the big idea for this problem is that if you just figure out that a leading coefficient is positive and even, then we're going to put D right there, okay? Let's do E. This here is a odd. You're looking for the highest one and in order. And this would be a negative leading coefficient. So which one? So if you had to draw a graph, remember the graph is just a visual. So the easiest one would have been like this, right? But because of the negative, they switch sides now. So we don't need this one and this one. Those are gone. So your graph is probably gonna look something like seven of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That would actually be pretty accurate. And we missed that, would gone through negative eight. Um, whoa, whoa. Okay, big idea though is that this one is a negative and odd. Negative and odd, so that would be here. All right, let's go through this one. Even degree, a, a negative leading coefficient, So evens are normally like this, but because it is negative, it's gonna go down. And you can erase these. And then if you wanna draw a graph, 
Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's what my graph would look like. So F would be again negative and even. That would be up here, F. Okay, let's go through now these over here. I see these are in the same direction, so this is an even degree. And all the arrows should be um, up like the easiest one. Um, that means the link coefficient is negative. So G is a negative even. So that graph would go here. Okay, this one, they're in opposite directions, so that would be an odd degree polynomial. And the leading coefficient matches the easiest one when it starts down, ends up, so that would be a positive odd. Positive odd for H would be here. And the last one, these are in the same direction, so that's an even degree. And they start up, end up, which is like the easiest even. So that means I have a leading coefficient that is positive. So I would go here. Okay, so that's the uh, first one. Let's go on to question number two. For each function, describe by the equations and graph shown, indicate whether the function is even, odd, or neither even nor odd by selecting the appropriate cell. Okay. The first thing I just want to ask is, does it say the word degree? And if you are paying attention, the answer is no. Okay, why is that a big deal? This problem is referring to symmetry. Let's review our symmetry. If it is even, then I have the phrase evenly. So that the graph um, it's symmetrical about the y-axis. Okay. So uh, they're folded there. That's the taco line, the folding line. Okay, the other one is odd. Um, also, if you put in negative x, you will get the original function. Now, the other one is odd. Symmetry-wise, this is um, you can call this corner to corner, corner. Kind of like an origami. Uh, the easiest one you know is uh, x, x to the first. And When you put in negative x, you're going to get the opposite of the original. And I like to call that op x, or the opposite of x. So negative or opposite of the original. That's how you would do um, these down here is algebraically. And then everything in orange up here is uh, graphically. So in this problem, you have two, two that are graphical. So let's go ahead and do this one. Question, for h of x, can I fold that in half in the y-axis? And you can, 
So that is a even. Okay, can I fold this one down this way? And the answer would be no. Okay, so here's the question. Can you, so it's not even, so let's write that, not even, because you can't fold it on the wax, so it's not folded evenly. The next thing is, can you do it corner to corner? So let me highlight the corners here. Blue and yellow. Okay, so I like to say that this one in the blues, there is a mountain and a symmetrical mountain, right? If you rotate it 180 degrees from quadrant one to quadrant three, they are the same. Over here, you have a distant mountain and you have a distant mountain in the yellow quadrants or quadrants two and four. So that would be odd. So that graph is k of x. k of x would be a odd. Okay. Um, just to clarify, that basically just means not even not odd, or simply no even, no odd, if that makes sense. Let's do, let's do f of x. So here I have to do, um, I have to do this algebraically. So when you're doing this algebraically, I had that star there, and you need to sub uh, negative x for every x value. So we're going to put in a negative x for every x value. Now, don't worry about the left side of the equation here, okay? Don't forget we're going to use PEMDAS, which tells me I'm going to use the exponents first. So negative x times negative x is x squared, and three x squared times 3 is just 3x squared. Okay, so... Now, every time you see f of x, you can write 3x squared. I see 3x squared, I can write f of x. What does this mean? When I substitute in negative x, I actually get the original problem. Another color here, purple. So this matches which description? That would be um, an even. So f of x is also and even. That substitution, the last part at the end I did, um, I'm just kind of showing that it's the original problem. That's all. Okay, let's do um, g of x. g of x equals negative x to the third plus five. We're going to substitute in negative x for every x value. So I see an x, I'm going to write negative x. It's, it's a way of testing it. That's what it means. All right, so I have g of negative x equals negative. Remember my substitution's there in parentheses, so third power plus five. Okay, don't forget you're using PEMDAS, so negative x to the third power just means negative x times negative x times negative x. That'd be negative x to the third power. And you still have this negative n plus five. Okay, let's simplify that. So I have, we just tested it by putting in negative x opposite of negative x cubed is positive x cubed. Okay, here's a question. Is this the same thing as this one? <laughs> Are they the same? They look the same. They both have a positive, but this one has a negative and this one does not. So this means it's not even because it's not the original. Okay, how do you know if it is the one where it's the negative of the original. Well, you, you have to factor out a negative, okay? So what you do is, this would be, you put, well, how do you distribute? So again, think backwards. How can you distribute so they're the same? Well, this would be x cubed, sorry, negative x cubed, 
right? Because negative times negative is a positive above. And negative one times a negative five. Um, negative times negative gives you a positive. So question, is this the original there in red? And it is not, so it is not odd, okay? So it's not even, not odd. That would give g of x to be neither. Has math become harder since they added letters? Have your grades dropped? Make your parents proud. Go to the GOAT's website, www.mrmathmoney.com. You are bringing your love of math to